Hello everyone, it's Sons and Duck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Catalog. A mod that simply adds a few changes to the forward mod list, so if you want a few things different uh, than what is or isn't offered in that, then that's sort of the mod to go with. Uh, there is also Configured, which adds a config menu for every mod, which we'll check out separately. Uh, but we'll just check this on its own. Um, so yeah, it allows you to, let's see, uh, it creates a rich experience for players, making it easier to search for installed mods, check for updates, submit bugs, and see relevant mod information, all in a new layout. Um, so there's no extra work developers have to do in that to work alongside this, it just sort of automatically does things. Uh, let's see, changes the eye icon in the mod list, if you want to change the icon, you can I guess. What you need to do is add that property into a config file and set the value to that or whatever other items, so as long as it's got the Minecraft technical name sort of format. And uh, yeah, so just take a look at it, which is obviously under the mod button. Uh, and you can see obviously the noticeable differences. You can see that it's all listed a bit differently. Um, obviously the little emerald thing there does still exist, so that'll always be there. Uh, we can now see that we can access the config, the website, and submit a bug report. We can see who created it, uh, we've got any other credits as per usual, and we've got the license that goes under. Um, and obviously the uh, information of what it's about here, we can go to website, and this will open in a clipboard message thing, so if we want to actually put this to a clipboard, have it open in our web browser, we'll completely back out of that if we don't care. Um, so there's that. You just see all the information there. As per usual. So nothing too out of the ordinary, but still useful. We've got opening the mods folder if we want to, which I already had open anyways, but uh, if you want to open it up here, you can, so it makes it easy to access if you say don't know how to find it or you just want an easy access to the button you can easily do that um, without having to like say, go the resource packs menu way or whatever else so there are ways uh, you can obviously go about it typically so if you prefer to just access it here you can you can obviously go back if you want to you can search for a mod we'll just go for example what's something here I don't know without a lib or without a redstone we can check that we can show mods with updates we'll just get rid of this i can't right click to clear which is interesting so you do have to get rid of the entire thing there so that's ones that need updating in particular so i have to keep that in mind and that i already know about um what else was there there was the config which we'll want to check out so that'll be under our mods folder which obviously we just opened before but i already had open so we can check under here, and that will be under which... Uh, under your such and such, under mods and set to that. Okay. Um, all you need to do is add an item icon property in your mods such and such. Under... Th okay. I assume it's under a config, because that's where most... TOML files are. Um, let's see, I'm also going to go under server configs as well and see what we get there. Nothing there. So nothing like strictly for the mod, but just more so for like if you wanted to tweak certain things you could and then set said values for whatever icon or whatever item you want to display the item icon. So there's that. So that's just a thing you have to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, obviously it's for developers, so nothing in that I can do on my level. Of course, it is a thing that developers have to add if they so wish. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll just check images and see if there's anything I'm missing. Um, yep, yeah, so just searching and so on. So that's that. So pretty much just the 
change here of selecting whatever you want that's presented differently, whatever is presented at the top is the icon, I assume, for the mod, um, mods folder, back button, searching, which needs updating, selectable buttons, and so on. Uh, we don't have a config one here at all because we need configured, I'm pretty sure, so we'll check that out and see. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.